Uh, if I can only say on TV what Tom just said. All right, Thanksgiving, as we know, huge sports weekend. Tomorrow we'll even watch our football maybe. But in our region, it has been, I think, probably the worst fall winter season that I can remember. Seven winter sports teams. Forget to be in baseball for the minute. Um, this has been real bad here. Okay, now, I'm going to go through the individual teams, and you tell me if – it's fair or not here that these guys ought to be able to keep their gigs. Now, I'm talking obviously football, basketball, and we'll stick to one for hockey, okay? Uh, believe me, we could kick on the Islanders and, and the Devils all we want, but they have enough problems. All right, what are we going to do about, and let's first start off with football here, okay? And I want to, Tom, beloved Giants, I can make two competing arguments for Tom Coughlin. Not even He's close. delivered you Super Bowls, but you haven't not, gone to the playoffs in three of the last four years. They probably look, won't this year, look, too. Not even close. Tom Coughlin gets to remain as long as Tom Coughlin wants to remain. The bottom line is any football team, fan of any football team, if you've won two Super Bowls in the last six years, you would say, glory, glory, hallelujah. They're having a bad year. They're a fine organization. Tom Coughlin stays as long as he wants Keep to. Keep him. All right. right, next one see how, here see how easy that for was? the Jets. <laughs> and, and I speak as the Jet fan here. They're five and six. Um, I think, if anything, Rex Ryan deserves an extension, not fired here. Mm -hmm. He was saddled with the worst offense I can remember in recent memory here. And it looks like the GM saddled him at least with that card to play. Um, so I think he deserves. Still more entertaining than the team on the field. He should stay. Yes, he should. He Although he's toned stayed. down the acting. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Um, hoops, okay? The Knicks and the Nets were supposed to be great this year, okay? 50-win teams, the Nets would challenge the Heat. Let's start with the Knicks. Mike Woodson, inexplicably, gets an extension even though he had a year in his contract. They were at 3-10. and 10. They're painful to watch here. They're fifth in the division right now and would miss the playoffs. Dominic, I'm sorry. Uh, this guy was supposed to be the guy um, uh, that had a great year last year, uh, coaching a dysfunctional bunch. I know they've had injuries, but 3-10 and is not cutting it. It's not cutting it, and his job should be on the line. But let's just wait for a little bit and see what happens. Okay. Nets here, um, whatever happened? Uh, you had, well, you got the wrong coach here, Doc Rivers Doc here. Rivers. But, uh, Doc Rivers. Well, thank you. Uh, he's, he's coaching he's against the Knicks right. tonight. We have Jason Kidd. And oh. um, my question is, yes, thanks, Andrew. That's my um, bad. Jason Kidd. Yeah. I, I know he's the coach, uh, the players' coach. The, the owner went over the salary cap by like $100 million bucks, luxury taxes up to you-know-what. I'm sorry. It's 14 games into a season. A lot of new. But how long do you wait before the season's gone? You don't bring games. in a guy, sign him to a three-year <laughs> deal in his first 14 games, then you're acting like George Steinbrenner. That's not going to happen. They're going to give Kidd at least a year to get through it. He's beloved in that city. They just retired his jersey. They're having a bad year. They'll move on. I don't think he's going to make it this year. We shall see. Now, Richard, I'll, fan, I'll, I'll bet you the TV station right now that I don't own that he lasts the entire season. Jason Kidd will be here the entire season. If it... If the next 20 games go like this, what teams Kidd, he has no coaching Jason experience. Kidd, and thus, he, they recognize, first year coach, they're bringing him on. Let's move on here. Alan. <laughs> uh, um, I'll, I'll go to the capital, uh, capital fan first, even though your answer may jeopardize the tickets. Tom might catch you. Um, uh, we understand that Messier actually could have had the gig, as we learned. Vigneault comes in to lead the Rangers, okay, and they're the best in the metropolitan, in the metropolitan area here, which is uh, an indictment in itself. But I don't know. I thought they were they're supposed the one, to be better they're, than 500. They're the, one, they're the one local team that actually make the playoffs right now if the season ended today. Anything, they're in third place in the metropolitan division. It takes a while, for, a, especially in hockey, for a, a, a scheme to pick up. I would keep them for the entire year. They're not fun he, to watch. He, they are tremendously fun to watch. And remember this. They've played most of the season without their best player, Nash. Lundqvist was hurt the couple, and they better. opened the, and they opened the season nine road games. They've gotten the much team better is in much better. Weeks, twelve and twelve. And I hate them. I hate right. The bleeding guts. Right. So much obnoxious. No, they, they no skip hockey. I'm gonna start with okay. you though. What do you think? There is a, there is some Thirty seconds. By the way. What, what, what am I thankful, thankful for? for this thing? I'm honestly thankful to be alive. Um, I'm I'm thankful to have my health, and each day above ground is a good day. Andrew Webb. Well, first of all, I want to apologize to the Devils and Islanders fans who didn't get a chance for I was us to trash to do their them a teams. Favor by not trashing them, yes. Um, health, co-workers, a chance to keep doing this every day uh, and stealing money in the process. Rich. <laughs> uh, also, uh, grateful for my family, and uh, I've got a wonderful woman in my life. I, I knew that was going. coming. I knew that was coming. Uh, Tom. Hi, Hillary. Hillary, uh, Hillary, Hillary, tell them to get you hi, the Hillary. ring. Yes. Um, the same thing every day, that I have healthy children. That's all that matters. I love you, man. Yeah, there You're you the best. Love you, too. <laughs> Hug it family out. and Hug everything it out, else. Boys. And Hug I will say, I did see a few instances, few stories in the last few days, all the awful stories, 
about the most unbelievable heroism first responders here before the storms guys running into fiery cars guys coming back from the service um, coming back on certain futures back domestically and I think they go without thanks um, too often so like all the other guys thanks for help all right can I make one last quick no point? because we're already over <laughs> and we need to the no, 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 really, really say Thanksgiving and Hanukkah on the same day for the first time ever by a guy will, named Dory will okay. never yeah. happen again until the year 79,811 yeah. yeah. And, and may not happen because of the time for everyone. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yes. So happy Hanukkah to all our friends out there. Yes. 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 Okay, yes. there we go. Much. And I know I mispronounced that. All right, when we come back, I say goodbye to these three, and we bring in our lawyers. Four lawyers, no charge, any subject we want to cover here. First up, how you handle sex assault allegations in the military. It's not just Republican and Democrats disagreeing on this. Nobody can seem to be getting on the same page as the right way to pursue justice there. We'll do that after this.